Hey guys, how is everyone? In today's video, I'm going to explain you how to actually uh, we can create a drawing view from model. Okay, so basically we have seen a lot of uh, uh, programs for creating a model blocks and creating a revolve. Like uh, you can check my previous videos if you haven't watched anything uh, on related to this. So which means like. Uh, you can go to all the playlist and you can view it's fine but uh, the thing is i thought of doing a video for uh, explaining the drafting area because we never touched that uh, particular module okay in this tutorial i used uh, a partial uh, journal and partial uh, code actually like like i written some few lines of code and I used a journal for uh, for the purpose of uh, doing a simple thing like creating a drawing sheet. So that's uh, in this tutorial, like you you will understand why I have used to this way because you 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 can't depend on completely journal for uh, all the tasks. Like some of the tasks it can be automated and it will be simple using journal like this. You can just create a drawing sheet using journal, but but apart from that, you have to uh, know that other um, APIs like like you want to create a import a drawing view or create a, some section view, accelerated views, and you want to create a dimension for the for the for, for the particular view. And uh, there are many things like uh, to, to drafting and as well as drawing uh, APIs. You have to use uh, you have to learn or you have to like uh, go through all the all the functions and the models okay so here i have used a simple uh, drawing sheet uh, builder which is, which i just recorded uh, from uh, journal option so this is nothing you just and uh, this one i thought of explaining like this is very important you can use this function to find out which module you are in like it will tell you uh, whether you are in drafting or modeling or any model like sheet metal assembly whatever it is so if you don't understand this particular line of code like here is the explanation like you can go to this uh, ufunk uh, documentation you can go to this uf you can go to ask application model see returns the current application model the value that is written maps to a string defined constant you can find the string header file okay which means you can basically know of which uh, model you are currently running your application so suppose you created a dll or exe or box trailer only to run in the modeling environment not or not in the drafting or not in the assembly so the first step is to check which and next module is running like whether whether the user is running in a uh, modeling or a drafting or whatever it is you can easily check it so you just just read this and you can just go to this file and give source you can see here they have assigned numbers for each modules like app drafting mechanics suppose you are in modeling it will give you 40 here so drafting it will give you one so based on this, you can see everything here. All the models have specific integer number assigned to a uh, respective models. Okay, you just need to, you can easily find out. So which model your application is running. Okay, so that's it. That's the one point I thought of uh, informing you because this is one of the interview question also. Like they will, there are many ways like uh, to find out the model to find out the um, the module like if you are in modeling or drafting but this is one of the simplest way other ways i think uh, i just can't remember the other uh, methods but i will let you know once i get to know that because one in assembly i think it's occurrence you you can find the number of occurrence and you can decide that you are not in assembly and, uh, there are many times many ways you can find uh, which model you are in but but this is one of the simplest one for the beginners it's very easy to find out because you have the uh, you have the direct uh, way of finding it okay and the other things like these are journal records i didn't do anything so 
nothing you can just record and uh, you will also get to see all the codes all these lines created from the journal so basically i will just uh, quickly walk through so our session is going to the drafting and we are in the drafting uh, application which means your model will be your your modeling environment will be shifted to drafting environment like yeah and uh, you can then the drawing sheet creation process takes place and uh, it just uh, creating a drawing sheet builder using builder it, it just starts and the auto start the creation these are the default i think the default settings to create a drawing sheet so they select a a4 a0 means i selected a0 by default it's a0 and metric style and uh, scale is one and then it's nothing like you put all the default values and just create record your journal and just stop so your drawing sheet will be created now the important part it's here like i i didn't do it like uh, i have done it in my in my android app so in my android app i created a base view like again uh, i used a uh, journal and i i just made some few changes like finding the model view but in here i used a different way so i'm just checking like once my drawing sheet is created i'm just getting the drawing tag so it will give you some integer and if it is not null then i'm going to create a drawing view so here i'm just passing the tag and here i am getting all the views and uh, selecting the rough view i'm just copy pasted this one and uh, here i am going to use this particular function which is importing the view so i'm just passing my current drawing tag and the top view which i am getting from the model modeling environment and view center is my drawing sheet center so i am finding it using this particular two lines like i am getting the current sheet and the length divided by 2 height divided by 2 and this is z value z value is 0 because we are in a 2d environment like drawing sheet will have only x and y so that's why so on the view center i am just because this this import view you can see the third argument is uh, double so that's why this is actually point which will have a three uh, 3d point 3d uh, values but i want to convert into double so uh, because i need only x and y so i'm just passing it again means to get a new value like uh, in array so where it is getting the array here so and the view is view info yeah there's a fourth fourth parameter you can see rough view of draw dot view info so that particular structure i'm initializing and i'm just passing the default values i did nothing you can give anything like you can give any name anything use rough point false it's nothing because we are creating a new one so there is no reference we have scale it's one transformation honest annotation you can keep false true nothing inherit boundary from modeling it is nothing we are not going to inherit any boundary from model so false so view status it's active view like we want to keep this view as active so you import it and you get the drawing view tag actually so this is not the drawing tag this is the view tag for the specific view you get the view tag and you need to update it otherwise it will not get updated like you will be uh, you will be seeing a blank view because once you up import a view you have to update immediately so then only you will get to see all the views suppose if you are not keeping this view these three lines let's check it i'm just going to comment and i'm going to build i think it's running no it's succeed okay now the view will not get update you see it's a blank view so if i just right click and update it will get update so that's why i mentioned you have to keep this three lines so you just set auto auto update and the whatever the value is coming it's fine because it's just an out so you have to, even this line is also not necessary 
so you basically getting all the views and you are updating all the views here that's it so keep it as simple as that okay and anything i forgot i think uh, yeah for this view info you can just go here okay i think here yeah initialize view info you can just refer this particular view fun uh, function so see how they set the default uh, views but in c sharp i have used the c sharp thing but more or like it is same suppose you don't confuse with this array things so but if you come to c sharp it is nothing you just uh, string you can see it's a string and the attachment also it's a string so you just the character is string in c sharp so here it is a character so you can go through each each uh, variable and each uh, parameter to understand what they are trying to say so that's why i just don't want to waste your time and my time so you can read it actually okay okay guys see you in another video bye bye and practice everything okay okay i will attach this code in the description and you can download you can test it okay see you then bye bye